Why do I not pay attention to these past few videos? I'm so confused with the story. If only I had... Hmm... If only I... Yes, enough, Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. Could be worse. Oh, he's dry heaving. Oh, I am never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? She ain't uh, crazy. Whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck Glenn here. Night, They're not yeah, gonna... Interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Oh, God. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. <sighs> it's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? <sighs> agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> oh, relapse. <sighs> he took her. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh... Holy oh fuck. my god! Light. We need light. You became self-aware. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. He became oh, too self-aware. Touch with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. No. This is scary, man. More Alan Wake. My goodness. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. Yeah. It was the booze that made his mind real. Pageception! Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. See, he's not an asshole, really. He knew. You can't be mad at somebody for being self-aware. 
Be mad at the ignorant people. <laughs> oh my, what the hell? Okay. Well, I'm playing this at late, well, early evening, so everything's all dark and it's all scary. But, I'm Owen the Fearless. So stand back, pretty lady. Because I'm around. Barry doesn't seem too scared, actually. He's just. Here are your things. So Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in what? the light. Only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. I had a way right. bigger light. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Sweet. Let's get back to your friend. I had, I had a big flashlight. God damn it, woman. I swear, it was really? bigger. I need it, you to stay here. It was what? big. No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. God I damn need it, you to Barry. call them and tell them you have a message from me. You made me a voice Night crack. Okay. And not pick up. They'll know what to do. Cut them flat. Night Springs? <laughs> like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. It won't last, Barry. <laughs> You'll come back for me, though, right? <laughs> as soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My okay. hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? Sure, sure. Just put it on my card. But seriously, lady. My, uh, my flashlight is usually bigger. You're just catching it at a bad angle. I swear. Well, doesn't this oh, look fancy Al, familiar? Whoever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? No. Okay, then, but hurry. Oh, don't try to stop me. That's cool. Well, I've already sort of gone this way before, not that you would know. Oh man, I, I swear there was a some sort of crate here. Thank goodness there's not. Is my wife's license still there? Nope. I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Didn't I try this last time? <gasps> Oh my god, I was foreshadowing. I knew this was going to happen. I am the writer. Oh, poor twist. Didn't see that coming, did you? Get away, birds. Flares, flares. No, down, 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 down. Good man. We need all the help we can get. Because I do suck. Not for free, but I do suck. Come on, Alan. You can get up. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, you were terrible at the high jump, weren't you? I could see it. Hmm. Not a... <laughs> I don't understand the crows. They're raven mad. <laughs> oh. They don't like that one. Okay. Wave one, wave two is gone as well. Nice. I like how the music just dramatically stopped. Very intense. Wait, isn't the Deer Festa supposed to be going on hey, around? Hey, Sheriff! Your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Fright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. We need to bypass the damage control 
box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Oh yes, you need to be highly qualified to push a button. Or not. Alright, alright. Push a button multiple times. Ow, oh, shit. shit. That's smart. Good job, Wake. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. Stick close. Woman, I have been fighting this thing the whole day. Where are you even going? But shouldn't we be going the other way? Whoa! Ow! Well, at least they don't. Well, at least they do know that I'm not crazy anymore. I'm saving my ammo. I don't know about you, but I don't need to shoot. Look out! Baby! No! Ah. Baby! Over here, Wake. The chopper's in the other direction. What about Baby? Wah! Fuck Bambi. Alright, alright. Nobody cares. Mother died ages ago. Get over it. Yeah, Bambi's. No, Bambi's still right. Never mind. Okay, lady, I'm about to school you in the art of fuckery. Alright, invisible things. Follow the invisible arrows. It makes much more sense, trust me. Excuse me. Right, come on. You can get you you can get through there, Alan. Alright, come on. Okay, yeah. Everything's fine. See what did I tell? Bitch wasn't even paying attention. Why do I bother? Oh well. Is to go a fancy flag? Uh... Oh no, Alan! Yeah, that's smart. God damn it! Job, okay, stick close. I don't Our have a fancy team. flag on. The keys to the chopper are there. Well, pickle my dick. What a pain in the ass. Hey, hey, that van's gonna move. But the, the car? What is the van still doing? Well, that didn't do this last time, did it? Oh. Bambi, don't run away! Stop for your father! Bambi! Stop for your father! Ow! I wonder why your mother committed suicide. Stop throwing things at me! Ah, oh, fine, so you do it some more. That's cool. Alright, bitch, stay here. I'm off to go get me a flare gun. Over here, Wake! The 
choppers in the other direction. Yes, but the secret's over here. <clears throat> Let's stay away from the water. There we go. I don't like playing this game in the dark. <clears throat> 